Hi guys, hello and welcome to another Rational Developer for I video. In this video, we'll learn how you can use Rational Developer for I or RDI as a query by example tool. A QBE or query by example tool is a tool that allows you to do database work without writing any SQL. So for this purpose, first of all, you need to be inside the database development perspective which can be accessed by either going to the window menu, uh, going to perspective, open perspective, other, and you can find database development and click OK. Or since you have already worked with this perspective, it may also be available to you in the top right corner of your screen. It looks like two blue cylinders. Once you click on that, the data source explorer will open on the left hand side. This is where you can find the server that we want to connect to, which is Death Star. In case if any of you are missing the server that we are that we connect to, you can always connect to the server by right clicking on the database connections and choosing new and then choose db2 for i and under the host we type deathstar.gtc.edu and in the username you will enter your username itpa and your three digits followed by your password and you will hit finish to connect to that star. We'll now come to the QBE part. So once you open the database, you open the schema, you open your user profile, your schema, then you come down in tables. So what I've asked you to do in the final exam as well is you locate the table that you've created using SQL. Let's say the name of the table is computer. You right click on the table, you go to data, and then you click on edit. So once you are in the edit screen, whatever data you will enter over here will be entered without using any SQL. So you are using this tool pretty much like an Excel spreadsheet. So right here, for example, in brand, if I enter a brand and I enter a model, enter a price, and a type of the computer and then I can press tab to go to the next row and this is Dell and then this is also a laptop and when I'm done entering all the data I press enter and then I hit control S on the keyboard as soon as I do that you can see at the bottom that it ran my SQL this is the SQL as you can see that it ran for me and it created the records for me and I can right click on the table and go under data and click on return all rows again this is SQL running behind the scene for you the previous was the insert command and this would be your select command and here you can see all the data that you have entered if you ever go into any of these data sets uh, up here uh, by right clicking and going to data and clicking edit in case if that uh, tab was closed, you can edit by making changes. For example, uh, let's say the price changed to a different value. Let's say the price now is $349.99. You press enter and hit control S. Now it will run the update command for you. This is also QBE. If you decide to delete any record, you right click on the record and then you can click delete row and save the changes. And it says, do you want to remove? Yes. And now it ran the delete command for you. So all of these commands are running for you behind the scene, but you don't have to write a single piece of SQL. That is what QBE query by example is for the RDI environment. And that's exactly what I've asked you to do for your final exam data entry part. You will create the table using SQL, but for this part, you will do QBE query by example. I hope this will help you complete the task. Let me know if you have any questions. Till next time, bye-bye.